define common knowledge through this definition. An event A is said to be common knowledge in in the state of the world omega star for all i1 dot 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 um, i r say in, in we have omega belongs to k i 1 of k i 2 dot 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 k i r sorry omega star belongs to ok. So, what does this mean that it means that i 1 knows that i 2 knows that dot 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 i r knows a ok in state of so, in omega star they they uh, I 1 knows that I 2 knows that dot 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 I R knows a and this is true for 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 all for all such sequ uh, sequences that you can create ok all right. No, no. So, this is this is the def this is the definition it will turn out that it reduces to something much simpler in certain cases. Okay, so we will we will discuss that in a uh, subsequently. Okay, let us take another extreme example. Okay, uh, let us take the example uh, that um, let us take the event B. Okay, the event B is is that uh, the Paul is not color blind and the purple car has won or let us say um, ok let us take a different color let us take Paul is not color blind and the red car has won. So, now wh when what does what does the knowledge operator say about Paul? So, when does Paul know this event? When does Paul know that he that he is not color blind and the red car has won? it is it is B itself right. Paul will know. So, K P of B is actually equal to B itself because when he is not color blind and the red car has one he does know that he is not color blind and the red car has one. What about John? So, when does John know that Paul is not color blind and the red car has one? empty set he will never know this right you can check this there is no element of the partition which uh, which which contains which is completely contained in set b right so this is in fact empty so it, what this also means is therefore that uh, this is also empty therefore that means there will never be a state of the world in which John will know that Paul knows that he is color blind and the red car has one ok. So, there is no state of the world in which John will know that Paul knows that he Paul is not color blind and the red car has one yes. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, but this is just again an example. Yeah, yeah. So, this is uh, this is an example. This is a very simple case because the the states are and the partitions are also kind of trivial in this case. But it does not this this is not the only way in will in which it will happen. It could very well happen for instance that this is um, that uh, you know this here this here is not empty. This one is also not empty, but this is empty. Okay, so John will know something about uh, about the event. Okay, there will be some states of the world in which John will know the event. 
there will be some states of the world in which Paul will know the event, but there will be no states of the world in which John will know that Paul knows the event. Is this clear? That, that, that could very well happen. All right, now let us look at a few properties of the, of the knowledge operator because this is such a important and useful tool. So, here is the first property. You, for any uh, for any event and any player, you always have k i of a is a subset of a. For any event a and any player i, k i of a is always a subset of a. This means that, so the, this, the left hand side here is the states of the world in which player i knows a. Okay? So, whenever player i knows a, that state of the world is always a subset of a, which means for player i to know a, a should have obtained, right? So, A should have occurred or obtained. So, player I knows A implies A is A has actually occurred, okay? So, what this effectively means is that the knowledge of we, we the players get knowledge of things when in out as a consequence of some physical reality. It is not what is knowable in principle, but what has actually happened and therefore they have come to know okay so they got they then their knowledge the players player eyes knowledge of a is as has to be has to have is as a result of a occurring okay so we, therefore so whenever player i knows a a has actually occurred all right so this is this is therefore a different this framework as i, I had mentioned at the start that this is way more of a control theory type of uh, model because you know of an event after it occurs it's not about what could have been known or what could be knowable okay so that so control theory is always causal and that's how it uh, this uh, that is the way uh, this model is also built okay okay so this is a uh, quick proof of this 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 uh, So, omega is, omega belongs to ki of a, which means basically that fi of omega is a subset of a, but fi of omega is, is, a, is the element of the partition that contains omega. So, which, but, but omega is always a, is always in fi of omega, which means omega is in a. So, we start off from any omega in ki of a, we get that omega must be in, in a. So, now let us uh, suppose I gave you two events a comma b, these are both sub events okay? and a is a subset of b. Right? So, a is a subset of b, what does this mean? That whenever a occurs, b also occurs. Okay? So, a is more specific than b, b is more general. So, whenever A occurs, uh, has occurred, B, whenever A has occurred, B also occurs. What, what this, what would this, what does the knowledge operator then say about knowing A and knowing B? Yeah. So, whenever you know A, you would also know B, right? And this is, so for any player, Ki of A would always be a subset of Ki of B, necessarily. Okay. Now suppose so let's take any any event. Okay. Now this is the event that player I knows A, and this is the event that player I knows that player I knows A. How are these related? So player I knows A. And player I knows that player I knows A. What is the superset? So, what is amazing? It is really incredible. You get this for free. You get that this, these two are equal, these, this is actually, these are actually equal. So, our way of modeling, I told you again uh, that this is a kind of a physical way of modeling things because as a result of this, okay, self awareness comes for free. Okay, player. Whenever player I knows an event, he also knows that he knows that event. Okay, this is a consequence of uh, of uh, of the of of the way we have modeled. 
this this could have limitations but uh, on the face of it for example loss of memory absent mindedness and so on cannot be uh, will not satisfy something like this so if you have a device that has finite memory it may it may know something but may not know that it knows something and so on but you will see later that this this is general enough to model a whole lot of other things also okay so so this is uh, so this this is you know the self awareness of a player you get for free from here okay some more properties let's what is what is ki of y it's y right so every state of the what does this basically say in every state of the world player no every player knows that something has happened okay so what you, one consequence you get for free here is that y is common knowledge because k i of y is y and this is true for every player so therefore every player knows that every player knows that every player knows that something has happened in every state of the world okay all right suppose a and b are two events then what is this player i knows that a has occurred player i also knows that b has occurred so when player i knows that a has occurred player i knows that b has occurred we can put two and two together and knows therefore that a and b have both occurred okay so we can therefore we are not proving this this is very easy to prove uh, I'm, i'm skipping the proof so this is all so the knowledge operator also satisfies this okay first tell me i'll just write this out you tell me if there is any what is the difference between these two what is the difference between ki of a the whole complement and ki of a complement okay so this is just again just for uh, clarity the left hand side is the set of states of the world in which player i does not know a okay so he uh, so now the right hand side is the state is the states of the world in which player i knows that a has not occurred okay these are two very different things okay so therefore th there is no obvious relation between the two you can of course say one thing which is let me raise this this is in fact equal to is actually equal to this so when player does not know something he is not ignorance of his, ignorant of his own ignorance he also knows that he does not know okay so again as i said self awareness sort of thing comes up so k i of a is a k i of a the whole complement is equal to k i of k i of a the whole complement okay yeah ha huh, so does not know okay does not know is a slightly uh, again so when we start discussing these subjects you know the english language is a little bit insufficient because what does it mean to not do when i say i do not know i do not know means i can for sure say that i cannot confirm that a has occurred <laughs> this that is what this statement is saying but the question he is asking is does the does ki of a complement mean that i does not know a is the states of the world in which i does not know a or is it the states of the world in which he may or may not have may, may have not known a yeah so so the does not know so any partial knowledge in this model, in this model there is no partial knowledge if you if you yeah uh, if you know and if you do not if you if it is not true that you know then you do not know yes but in that case he does not know yeah that is what the that's our uh, that's our definition so there is a more uh, subtle model which will uh, which we will do after this in which there is a probability that he assigns to each event 
okay that is that's what is called a belief so from knowledge you can move to beliefs okay when and uh, which is which is in which a player basically assigns a probability distribution on the say on the, uh, probability uh, distribution on the states of the world and therefore on an event and so on and there you can you can have these kind of graded um, sort of uh, levels of knowledge so their knowledge becomes belief with probability one okay but we'll come to that after we have done with done with this yes why is the last property true we can uh, we can show this mm. so i'll just clear write out the proof here so if omega belongs to ki of a sorry no it does it's not sufficient the complement is outside no so of course you would have this the the claim is not about this yeah, so this um, let's just do this one second so so you have a you have your a and then you have your fi of omega fi of omega is not a subset of a that means it uh, it it has something which some elements which are outside now these are these elements which are outside are therefore elements of a complement So, k i of a is a subset of a. So, k i of a complement is a superset of. So, I think it should follow from the first one. I will just have to write it out properly. So, it is k i of a is a subset of a, which means this complement is a subset is a superset of a complement and uh, So, one of this hmm. Hmm. Uh, k i of a is a uh, union of yes, yes, k i of a is all of these. So, in this case, is the union of elements of a partition, correct. some other partitions that's right correct correct so i mean this uh, i'm i'm just trying to see if it can be derived as a corollary of this so there is i i'm I, i'm sure the result is true and in the result reason for that is this only that you see whenever uh, so this the knowledge the these the events when uh, the or I should have picked a different color the the states of the world in which player i knows a okay okay that means his that means ki of a will necessarily be either all of fi of omega or none of okay that is how it will be you will never have this sort of part in ki of omega ki of a okay for any for any event a because so all of see because the the if this is included then this would also have to be included but then this is not in a got it the, the, the nearby point which is in in the same partition same element of the partition but uh, is not in a would also have to be included so only this part gets included and then but i'm trying to think see if i can just apply one of these inclusion relations and derive this but it seems like that is not possible anyway we'll come to we'll we'll do a much more complicated version of this uh, subsequently in which this will come out for free actually we'll write out the entire structure of this so I'll I'll do I'll just remind me I will do this proof in class. Okay.
Okay. So, actually let us do a quick property or another property of common knowledge. Okay. Let us come back to common knowledge and let us do one theorem related to it. 